and second in the evening. What do you attribute to just the ability to have the power that you're having so consistently, not just the doubles that you have become accustomed to getting, but the, the long ball as well? Um, I don't really know. You know, you're just kind of putting good swings on good pitches right now and everything's kind of clicking. Um, other than that, I, I, don't, I don't really know. Mookie Betts just told J.P. Hornstra that he feels like the play of the game was the at-bat and the walk from Max Muncy to be able to get Will Smith up to the plate. In your opinion, how key was that walk and just really the sequence of events that followed that? Yeah, you know, that's, that's a great moment of how we've been attacking these guys, you know, battling, grinding, taking whatever you get, and then Will doing what he did was – it was awesome. You know, that, that's the big moment that you need the big hit, and he got it. Um, but give credit to Mookie, too, on that play. Um, that was a huge momentum twist for us. And, you know, we kind of rode it from there. That leads me to my next question, Corey. You had mentioned that play by Mookie Betts. And it seemed like the offense started getting going after that great defensive double play to end the third inning. How much are you guys riding that momentum and realizing that, you know, you're, you're still in this thing? Yeah, you know, exactly. It's not always on the offensive side that you get the spark. You know, a, a big play like that in a big moment that changes everything for you. You know, you go into the dugout with some energy, you know, you scratch some runs and, you know, the whole thing changes. You and Will Smith could have a contest about who shows the least amount of emotion. What do you think <laughs> about Will in terms of that big home run for you guys and really just kind of coming into his own in front of your eyes? Yeah, you know, that was, that was, that was a great AB. <laughs> I mean, he battled his ass off the whole time. Um, took borderline pitches, you know, uh, won the pitches he was supposed to, and then and gets the ball down over the plate and puts an awesome swing on it. Um, man, that was that was a lot of fun to watch. Continued success. Thanks, Corey. Thank you. Next question is from J.B. Hornstra. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah Corey, um, we, we've talked about approach at the plate prior um, to today in this series. Was the approach today different um, for yourself and for the team than the previous four games? No, you know, same thing. Um, we kind of expected a bullpen game. So, you, you know, you got to you gotta grind those guys out. You know, you, you may not see a guy twice. So to be able to get pitch counts up and battle and just get whatever you can, it was huge for us. Next question is from Jack Harris. Go ahead. Corey, Corey how much did um, you guys get to learn about Max Fried facing in the, the first time in the series? And, and how much more confident do you feel going into tomorrow's game? Yeah, you know, just seeing guys twice, you know, that's huge. Um, the first time we did a really good job. Um, we grinded and he didn't ever gave in and made pitches when he needs to. And, you know, now we've kind of built up a little knowledge of what it's going to be like, what to expect. And, you know, you can kind of hopefully build off of it. Is this kind of the postseason that, that you had always imagined for yourself and kind of were hoping to have coming into to this October, just given your health and, and how you, you played this regular season? Um. Not yet, you know, the, the whole goal is to win. Um, we haven't done that yet. So, you know, regardless of what you're doing, if you don't win at the end of the year, you know, it, it's, it, it's not the same. So we're just trying to win a game tomorrow and let things happen. Next question is from Kerry Osborne. Go ahead. Corey, you had been in eight previous uh, potential elimination games. Um, how difficult is it to not put pressure on yourself in games like this? And how would you describe your level of calm today? Um, it's, it's winner go home. I mean, it's simple. Um, there's no extra pressure. Um, it, it is what it is. You know, it, we know what, what's at stake and it's every game in any series, you know, it, it's just winning that day. Um, it's not looking forward and it's not looking to the next day. It's about tomorrow and winning. Next questions from Bill Shaken. Go ahead. Corey, you, uh, can't, hit a home run in this series if you watch on television without the Fox announcers talking about what really fired you up was hearing that the Dodgers might be interested in trading for Francisco Lindor. Um, how much is that true? And if so, how much did that fire you up? Um, I, I, don't, I don't really know. That's not even close to on our mind right now. You know, it's, it's about winning games right now, and that's it. Next question. I got another one from Kerry. Go ahead. Uh, Corey, when, when in that first inning, when you guys, after, after getting out of the, through the, through the starter, um, how big was that home run for kind of uh, calming yourself and the rest of the team? 
Um, yeah, you know, any any time you score, it's 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 big. You know, it's a it's a relief. Um, but like I said before, there was a, there was a bunch of different plays during that game that really kind of built momentum. And and today kind of came on the defensive side, and it turned into offense. You know, with with Mookie's play and then Will's homer. So, like I said before, you, you never know where the spark's going to come. You're just you're just hoping for it early. We got time for one more. Go ahead, Jorge. Corey, what was it like seeing Kenley out there? He got up to 93 a couple times. He's gone through a bit, you know, a lot in the last you know week or two. Yeah, you know, Kenley looked great tonight. Um, he looked like he had some confidence tonight. You know, um, throughout the year, you know, he was kind of tinkering with stuff and couldn't really find what he was looking for. And tonight, you know, he, he looked out like he just was out there throwing, um, like we've always we've always seen him do. Um, just he just pounded the zone. He wasn't scared. He attacked guys. He he was he was really good tonight. That was that was very comforting to see for him. You know that's that's got to be a huge relief for him. Thank you.